Rick Smith is a golf teaching pioneer whose popular golf lessons in the 80s and 90s were airing before the advent of 24-hour golf channels and YouTube. We talked to him about the state of golf instruction today. I remember going out on the PGA Tour in the 80s and I had a camera that was that big and I had a stick that I used to use and I put it in the ground to video a shaft angle plane, basically. And, and I would see whether it was over it or under it, right? And then I used that shaft for different reasons and to influence where the club was moving. Technology's changed an amazing amount to a, a high level side of, of the fact that the data that we're getting from gears over here to you know, simulation to uh, ball flight you know, simulators and monitors, it's amazing what, what has happened. I mean, to a point where now you can measure your, uh, your movement patterns, right to left, up and down, things that we never had, we could see it, but you can now measure it. So technology has been very amazing, and I think fitness is more significant, where people are realizing that they have to move better. As they get older, they move poorly. Their bodies go to pot, we all know that. And so there are preventative things you can do, plus there's ways to get more speed. You see different things that are on the market to help improve that. So it has helped grow the game, for sure. I mean, and there are better players, there are more good players now than there ever were. The key is getting with somebody that you can really focus on you and what your tendencies are and work away from those. There's probably the biggest negative would be an overabundance of YouTube videos that don't pertain to your swing at all. And so you may get smarter as a, a knowledgeable person, but your game goes backwards because you're experimenting with the wrong things. So I think knowing your swing is as valuable as anything, because when you know your swing, you know what you need to work on, and that's the key. And I think you have to get with somebody that can sort through all, this, all these numbers, right? And what is important, what isn't important. Because I've seen swings that, are, that I would change, that when I see them at impact, the impact actually looks pretty good. The post-impact looks awful. There's pre-impact position that look bad. The point is that person, even though that number looks pretty good, it's, they're not a very consistent player. They're not a good player. So there's some deception too, what you see with numbers. You can view golf destination content from the past as well as original programming on our YouTube channel at Golf Destination.